hi ladies I'm just going to put a little video together for you to show you just how simple it is to use the nail art studio in Jamboree so once you've logged on to your Jamboree account you should be able to select the nail art studio section and when it comes up if you've already some designs it'll show you that on your um, home page uh, you have an option to click on it to see your designs or to create something new. There's, other, there's also a create new design tab over here so let's click on that and this will take you to the screen and it will have the largest of the nail wraps as the first one to start working on. So you can upload photos if you want something specific um, from your, your album or you can just start with some of the objects and patterns that they have. So let's start with an object. I'm just going to pick square in this case because what I want to do with the square is use it as a background colour. So we're just going to open the square up. Now what you want to make sure to do is have the pattern or this, the object outside that dotted line. That's to make sure you're going to have it perfectly on your wrap and there won't be any blank sections. Now obviously I don't think I want a grey, so let's go and look at colours. And I'm going to pick a dark purple because I know a lot of you like, like that. Now, if you just want to play and wrap, you're good to go and you could save that and go through the process. But let's try and add some pattern. Now, these patterns are also available on standard Jamboree wraps, but sometimes you might just want something that is a different colour from what's available. Now, I know a few of you in the personality um, thing mentioned they like wild, so let's click on one of the wild designs. Again, it comes up in a black format. I think that's a little big pattern-wise, so let's just zoom it down in. Again, making sure that it's over that dotted blue line. I don't think I actually want it in black, so let's see what else there is. If we, we'll go for the purple theme, so let's try... Oh, I think that might be a little bit pale for it. So let's go a little darker, say with that. Ooh, that's quite cool. So I want to save that, but I just don't want to save it to that one nail. I want to apply it to several. So we click and apply to multiple. I've already selected some there, so let's just clear those out because I just want to put these on a couple of the petties. So I've selected those and I just go to apply design to select it. And if we just go to the bottom page, we see they've been added in. So, okay, let's see. I want to use this design now, but I want another colour. So how do I do that? Well, quite simply, just click on the pattern, decide on what colour you want. So for this one, let's say we'll go for a dark blue. And the background, I'll go light blue. Hmm, that's quite nice as well. I definitely want to try and those out so again I'll go to apply to multiple clear those check boxes and I'll put those on my my other petty so and again just click on the apply design to select it and if you just go down yep that's been included so what's next well I want some other patterns in there so just go to the trash can get rid of that pattern we'll keep the background and we'll go and pick some other ones out. So how about the leopard? Leopard, sorry, zebra. I'm getting my animals mixed up. So again, we'll just zoom that down. And you can move it about to get the area of the pattern you really like. So I'm thinking that's quite cool looking there. Again, I'm thinking a different colour. This one may be red. And let's go for a black background. So yep, that, that looks good to me. Again, we'll go back to that, apply to multiple, clear those boxes, and this time I want to do it on my Manny nails, and three and four are generally um, accent nails that you can use um, as you choose. So we'll design that. Cool, and you can see they've all gone in. And again, I'm just going to do the same thing as I did this time because I just want to reverse those colours. So we'll go for red on that. And if we click onto the middle bit, 
we'll go for black. So again, let's just reverse that pattern. I'll go apply to multiple, clear those boxes, and we'll do this on the other side. And apply design to select it. So we need to give it a name. So what do you think? Well, as it's all wildlife prints, I'm thinking wild at heart. So we'll just call it wild at heart. I'm going to preview it. It just takes a little while to come up. It should be coming up any second. There it goes. And you can see that's it on the nail wrap. And then the last thing I do, if this is what I'm happy with, I'm going to I agree to the terms and conditions, click on that and submit it for approval. Now then again, this just comes up, tells you a little bit about colors and also reminds you to make sure that your pattern is outside of those blue dotted lines and not on the inside. If you're happy with that, just click submit my design. So it's been submitted for approval and you'll be notified when the team has approved your design. So that's super. So we can just go back to my designs. You can look at the ones I've already got approved and here's my pending design. So if I click on view, I can create a new project. And what that does is basically bring that up in a perfect clone. And that's what they actually call it. So if you go to the top, it's called Wild at Heart Clone. And it could simply be that you want to change out the colors. So this time, maybe you want that in green and the print in black for something very standout-ish. And you just want to apply the multiple Do those ones. You can click on this and say this time we're going to go for blue. Actually, the black's still nice for that. Go back, apply to multiple, clear those boxes. You want them. That's just those nails. Apply design to select it. Just change them out clicks on one of these. Again, what will we do for this one? Hold on. Just go back out of that. Again, this time, maybe we want black background and black and yellow. Interesting enough. Apply the multiple, clear those boxes. Do that in three, four, five, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's always easy for you to count like that. There it pops in. And maybe you just want to keep those as it is. So again, you can quickly change it um, from the patterns you already have in there to something a little different. Maybe change the name up so to whatever you want. And then again, just preview it. And if you like it, go ahead, save it. And that's you finished.